Of all the risks in the digital domain, one category is particularly concerning, and they are scams. Whenever I speak with a scam victim and hear their harrowing experience, I'm reminded of a very similar kind of panic that I experienced as a child. Back in the 1970s, I lived with my grandmother in an old shop house in Juchet. On several occasions, we were awakened in the middle of the night to nearby shouts of fire, fire. We had very little clue as to how far and how fast the fire might reach us. Only that we must be ready to run for our lives. And this kind of fear and helplessness, you never forget that. Today, fire hazards have largely been brought under control, and most fire incidents have moderate impact. This is because we have well-trained and well-equipped firefighters to contain fires that do break out. There are regulations, including the Fire Safety Code, to prevent potential fire incidents. We also have the support of organisations and citizens alike who do their part to create and maintain an environment that is safe from fires. In many ways, we are fighting scams like how we successfully fought fires. We have invested resources to strengthen our capabilities to contain the impact of emerging scam campaigns. Two years ago, the Singapore Police Force established the Anti-Scam Command. We have also put in place tools to limit losses for victims. Banks have implemented an emergency kill switch so customers can quickly suspend their accounts if they suspect compromise. In November last year, several banks implemented a money lock feature, allowing customers to set aside an amount in their bank accounts that cannot be transferred digitally. Sir, fighting scams is a team effort, and the government cannot do it alone. As mentioned by Mr Ong and Mr Tan, we need companies to ensure that their customers can enjoy a safe and secure environment as they interact online. As apps are the most common way to transact online, we also need app developers to design for security. This is why CSA is publishing a new recommended safe app standard that app developers should adopt to ensure that high-risk monetary transactions performed on their apps are secure. Besides apps that people use, we must also better protect vulnerable segments. To strengthen safeguards against them, being tricked into signing up and footing the bill for phone lines used for scams. IMDA has published the advisory guidelines for telcos to protect vulnerable consumers. As the landscape evolves, we will need to grow new capabilities to keep pace with scammers and online risks. MCI and the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, ASTAR, will officially launch the Centre for Advanced Technologies in Online Safety, KTOS. The centre will be a platform to bring together our community of research partners, companies and practitioners in Singapore to build capabilities for a safer internet.